Okay, so as you can see, I've done three rows of blind stitch in here, and this has created a um, a roll already, which I'm now going to do the top stitching on so that the roll is properly secure. Now, what's really important here is this roll is full of um, of fibre or hair. If you find there's any place where you haven't quite got enough in, maybe on this corner here, you can regulate by putting the regulator in and turning it so the fibre inside moves around a bit. And you can see how that is filling out that end there by just poking around a bit with the regulator. It's a turning motion. You're putting the regulator in and you're turning it and that moves the fibre around underneath the hessian. And to do the top stitching, it's very similar to the blind stitching. You need to pinch it together and then you're going to go up just above the last line of the, of the blind stitching. Bring the needle all the way out this time and do a stitch going back that's around about three quarters of an inch. And you pull it through and do a slip knot. and pull it tightly to the right again. And apart from the fact that the stitch is at the top, it's very similar to the blind stitching. You go up, and sometimes you can just pull the needle forward a little bit so that you pull in the, the roll slightly proud of the wood. Take the needle all the way out, go into the, um, the, the hole next to the hole where the twine's coming out before. So it's about three quarters of an inch and you go twice around the needle again and pull it through and when you pull it you pinch it together so you pull to the right and you pinch it together and you must make sure that this is feeling full of fibre so that it's nice and full now one more along about an inch pull the needle all the way out back about three quarters of an inch almost to where the hole is and twice around with the needle and pull it through. Okay.